Good morning everybody, welcome back. Oh, I don't like that angle, there we go. Welcome back. This is a what I wore in a week. Lots of you have requested for this to make a comeback. We'll see, we'll see, because the format got a little bit boring to me, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Stay with me, don't go anywhere, don't click off yet, it's gonna be good, I promise. It's still a what I wore in a week, don't go anywhere. Anyway, today's outfit is gonna revolve around these little cargo trousers, which I got from they're from Pull and Bear, which is really random, but they fit me. They're very nice. They're like not a high rise, but they're not like a low rise. They're like a mid rise. They look really bright right now, but they're in this like e crew color. So with that, I'm going for a little white crop tee. I thought I'd start with a white crop tee and see how we go. I'm not necessarily like, this is not necessarily the vibe, but I'm kind of feeling a bit lazy this morning. So crop t-shirt it is. And then, we have some new shoes that I wanted to wear with this outfit. These are some Birkenstocks that I saw whilst I was on holiday. I was literally on my sunbed just scrolling through Instagram and these came up on an ad. She always gets me. I've got fluff on my nose. Hang on. Oh my God. So itchy. Anyway, another one of my random Instagram purchases. How cute are these? Now stay with me. Stay with me because I'm not really going to wear these as a statement or as like a poking out the bottom of a pair of trousers. I think these could be really, really cute. So we're gonna give them a go under my cargo trousers. I feel like because they're like that e-crew color, which actually matches like this trim perfectly. They're gonna go well together, I think. Anyway, so this is a nice little way of having a neutral look with a little pop of color, fingers crossed. By the way, in case anyone's wondering, this is what I'm wearing right now. This is like my pajama t-shirt. I think I got this from I think it might have been like PLT when I was like placing an order, but I just love it. It's really cute. And then I'm just wearing my grey pyjama bottoms, which I love. They're from ASOS. They came in a set, but I never wear the top. Okay, let's see if we can get this on without getting makeup on it. Wish me luck. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I mind this. Yeah, this is fine. It's a nice easy outfit and I'm not really like doing anything today. Please be cute. I haven't worn Velcro since I was a kid. Oh my God. So cute. For today's jewellery, I'm going to go for a mix of things. We're going to start off with this little pink beaded set from Monica Vinader. So we have the necklace and the bracelet. Getting as much wear out of these before the end of summer as possible. I love this one. I really like to layer it, but it's also like just nice on its own. And then this bracelet. I love the pink beads and the gold beads. It's really sweet. So I like to layer up a lot of different bracelets at the moment to kind of distract from how ugly the Apple Watches. Um, if you're new here and you haven't heard me talk about the Apple Watch strap before, it's really old from Amazon. Everybody went nuts for it when I linked it and it's never come back. So um, sadly you can't get it anymore, which I am so sad that I didn't buy two because mine's starting to look a little bit old now and I kind of wish that I had doubled up. So if anyone has a spare, let me know. I would love it. And then I'm going for this one, which I think is Astrid and me really nice i love a really fun bracelet this one's actually an anklet i'm not sure if it's gonna fit on my wrist but i've got some like green and blue ones which i bought from ibiza and i just love them so we'll see if it works oh yeah there we go okay i like that and then we might go for a couple more where are my other ones oh they were on my bedside table that's how you know i love something if it's on my bedside table it is beloved you know Okay, little Etsy bangle, and then this bracelet from Monica Vinido, which is one of the hardest things in the world to get on, but so worth it because it's gorgeous. There we go. So that's my little bracelet stack. Don't know if I'm gonna go for rings today, I really can't be bothered. Uh, necklaces, I might go for this simple little Monica Vinido one. Or I have this Astrid and Me one, which could complement to look quite nicely it's also got that like multi-coloredness to it which could go quite well with the fact that the shoes are obviously like that as well i don't know i like that that's cute okay mm, this is adjustable so maybe i'll just make it really short and have like a top layer i can't remember if i said this is from monica Veneda. maybe we'll make it a bit shorter and it's like a choker but then it kind of this bit appears around the side Mm. Life struggles, you know. Hmm. 
Not bad, none too shabby. Sunnies, I'm gonna go for these from Celine. I really like these at the moment. They're like a really fun, kind of vintage-y style. They're dirty AF, but it's fine because I don't wanna see anything anymore. So it's fine, didn't need the vision. And then for my bag, I think I'm gonna go with, this needs adjusting. I'm gonna go with this little Jacquemus one, but um, have the strap, I think the strap, yeah, the strap is in here. Oh, I'm impressed with myself. Anyway, so I'm going to have it with the strap because it just makes it a little bit more casual. And I would say this look is very, very casual. I love this bag so, so much. Like the colour is just, I would never have thought that I needed this colour in my wardrobe, but I absolutely love it. This is my favourite kind of pink, like a bubblegum pink. So that is today's outfit of the day. Really nice and simple, very, very casual, perfect for podcast recording. And that is literally all I am doing today. So this is like the perfect little outfit for that. I love the shoes. They're so fun. I think they work really, really nicely with this outfit. It's just like a little pop of color, nothing too crazy. Little pop of color on the bag, pop of color on my wrist and with my necklace as well, but still overall, looking like a very neutral outfit, which is definitely my vibe. But yeah, the little bits of color are just very fun. Um, I really like them. So that is today's outfit of the day. Um, I will link everything as always in the info box below for you guys to shop uh, where possible if stuff is still available. If not, uh, I'll try and find similar items. But yeah, that is today's outfit. Gonna go record the pod now. Love you, bye. Good morning, everybody. You are gonna see quite a glow up today because I have freshly washed my hair. Wow, it's so wet, actually, jeez. The hair is freshly washed, my skincare is done, and I'm about to get ready for the day, and I'm just basically killing time at the moment until my hair kind of air dries a little bit. But today's outfit is one that I've really been looking forward to wearing, and I'm really glad that the weather is matching up with uh, the outfit, because otherwise, I don't know what I'd be doing today. But I'm gonna wear this little combo so we have a dress from zara which i bought so long ago it still has the tag in it i have never worn it i'm gonna wear this bag with it because i feel like this dress is very well this i feel like fat this dress is very girly it's got like cutouts it's got floral it's long i think this bag like toughens it up nicely so it's not too girly because i like girly but i don't like it to be too girly so that is gonna be the outfit combo i'm gonna pair it with my uh, Prada Sunnies. I will link these. I always get asked what model number they are. I have no idea. They're called like the runway glasses and there's just a lot of numbers on the arms so I'm just going to link the exact pair. And I might go for some silver hoops because the detailing on this bag is it's not gold. Uh, but I have internal conflicts about that because I love wearing gold jewellery. But these are the only silver pieces of jewellery I have. So maybe I need some more silver pieces of jewellery. I'm looking forward to wearing this one. Uh, I'm going to either go with hair in a bun or just like my loose waves, I guess. Maybe straight. Straight could work. Basically, I don't know. Um, and then just my usual makeup. So fast forward about 600 hours and hopefully my hair will be dry and I'll be ready. 2,000 years later. Okay, I'm ready. Also, can you believe... I did this with an air wrap. I've got my usual GHD curls with an air wrap. Will it stay? That I don't know. Though to be honest, I have hairsprayed it within an inch of its life. Like I feel like there's so much hairspray on my head right now that it's a fire hazard. Do you see what I mean now about the girliness? I'm gonna go for my Chanel flats because to be honest, they're just all I wear. And they're waterproof, so if I do get caught in a freak storm, I'm fine. Let's see how I go back. Prada Sunnies. And for perfume, I'm gonna go for this one by Killian today. It's called Moonlight in Heaven. It's basically a mix of like an orangey, like citrusy man scent mixed with like Essay Lauder bronze goddess skin scent. It is just incredible. I've worn it a lot this summer. I absolutely love it. And I feel like it's a nice fragrance to go with this outfit because it's not like girly, but it's not too harsh either. Okay, so this is the outfit in full. I obviously need to go and tidy up my bedroom now. <laughs> this is just real life. This is just how much mess I make when I get ready. I like this outfit. I might put my hair up though, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but I feel like that is basically criminal after um, having just blow dried it. Maybe I shouldn't have washed my hair this morning. I should have just rocked the greasy hair look, but 
I'm sure my lunch date will appreciate the fact that I am clean, so. Anyway, that is it from me. Toodaloo. Good morning, everybody. I look very glowy today. I have tan on, I haven't powdered. Maybe I should. This might not work out well for me over the course of the day, who knows. Anyway, this morning we are doing a little mix of trying something new with an outfit, which some of you might love. Some of you, most of you will probably not, but that's okay. But also it's a combined mix of me doing it quickly because uh, I need to get ready for the day, for the whole day, but I also really need to go to the shop because I'm starving and there's no food in the fridge. We're gonna start off with a little t-shirt and that is why I've already got like my ideal underwear situation on. So I've got these little skims, short thingies, which most of the time, like to be honest, I wear to bed, um, but I'm wearing them today because i don't want to flash anyone and then i've also got a little skims bra as well which is just nice and easy like t-shirt bra can't don't want to wear a proper bra i've just put tan on so i don't want anything like structured that's going to rub my tan off so this is perfect and i didn't want to go like braless under a t-shirt for some reason i find that weird but if it's a tight t-shirt i don't mind i guess because it's like more supportive if it's tight anyway so an evening t-shirt which i have just <laughs> been loving i love it so much um i've been wearing this quite a lot because i'll just throw it on in the morning sometimes because i get up very very early at the moment because of the builders the other day they were here at six mm -hmm, six so i throw it on in the morning and then usually put something else on the bottom even if it's like just baggy loungewear pants um it's just my go-to it's cool and i love it but it also just <laughs> really helps me out in the morning. I just love an oversized t-shirt and uh, stops me like having to see the builders in my actual pajamas, which is very embarrassing. So yeah, t-shirt. Um, wearing it as a dress today, as you can probably tell because I talked about wearing the certain underwear so I don't flash people. And then I've got something to unbox. I ordered this uh, a couple of days ago and I've been very excited for this to arrive. I had this particular outfit in mind for today and uh, so I'm excited to try it today. This could all go very wrong and I might have to revisit my outfit idea. Shoes from Urban Outfitters. When I say shoes, I mean boots. These are a dupe for a very expensive pair that I want, but I don't know. If these don't work, I'm gonna order the more expensive pair and use my Farfetch discount code. <laughs> but these were very similar to, oh God, I can't get the insides out. These were very similar to a pair that I saw on Farfetch. So I thought I'd give them a go. I know some of you are gonna hate these, but that's, that's okay. I will put socks on, but just for the, the people, for you, uh, I'm just gonna try them on. Which foot is this? Oh, this one. Oh my, how much more tissue? What size did I go for in these in the end? Oh, I've got a size for uh, EU37 because the reviews on the website said that they come up a little bit big. One of my feet is a four and a half, so generally works out okay. Is it four and a half? One to four, one to four and a half? Can't remember, but I can go between shoes, basically. Dior bag or Balenciaga bag? That is the question. By the way, it looks really weird, but I, I keep the stuffing in this one because I want to keep it nice. Oh, I like. I really, I just love this t-shirt and this bag combo. It's really cool. Then this, this and the boots, also kind of cool. This one's almost like not popping enough. Like I think if I was wearing like a white t-shirt, this might work better. It's almost not visible. And then we're gonna go no stud. I get these, I always get asked about this, so it might sound really weird to some of you that I'm talking about no studs, but I always get asked. I get them from a place called Guru in Brighton. I don't know if it's still open because I haven't been since like before lockdown and a lot of places really sadly um, closed like over the past couple of years because obviously they couldn't afford to stay open. Um, but I hope they're still open because I don't know where they get these and I could obviously do my Googles, but I really like buying them in person because I know what they're gonna look like. But maybe I'll do some like ordering and find us a good, like, I'll do the testing for us all and find a good like online retailer. Let me know if you want me to do that because I'm happy to be everybody's guinea pig if it's helpful to people. Um, 
But yeah, if it is still open and you are in Brighton, that's where I get them from. I love them so much and they're really, really affordable. I can't do this. Sorry for the real close up. I need to sort my facial hair out. Busy girl, you know? Okay, so same jewelry as yesterday. I like silver with this, like everything. I just realized this is the reason the bag works because this is also like silvery white detailing. The boots have silvery white detailing. The bag's got silver buckling. It all just works, I love it. This is the finished look. I love this outfit. I do wish my t-shirt was just ever so slightly longer. I think that would just, I don't know. I feel like sometimes this t-shirt is just a little bit too short, but unfortunately I could not get it in the next size up, so. This is what we are working with, but I absolutely love this outfit. I think it's really cute. I love the boots. I don't know if everyone else is gonna love the boots, but I personally really like the boots. Um, I like the fact that they're in a black and it kind of makes them very timeless and hopefully I'll keep hold of them uh, forever. Cause I have had a pair of cowboy boots in the past, but they were like brown and I just stand by, tan is not the color for me. It really is not the color for me. I don't really, as far as I'm aware, I don't really buy it much anymore because I just haven't had the best experience with like getting a lot of repeat wear. Whereas like black, I just wear so much. So yeah, that is my finished OOTD. I'm off to go get some food now, going to the cinema later. It's gonna be a really great day. Love you, bye. Morning. So as you can tell, I'm already dressed today. I got out of the shower and I just had to throw something on, so I just threw on what I was gonna wear because I'm lazy and I don't wanna put on too lots of clothes just to like change for you. So today it is lovely and warm, cloudy, but lovely and warm. So I'm taking advantage of the opportunity and I've put on one of my favorite dresses. Uh, it's a new one, it's quite a pricey purchase, but I just think it's gorgeous and I'm gonna add a little bit of jewelry this necklace i get asked about it all the time oh there's a hair this is from monica vinida the pendant and the chain are sold separately the chain is actually not on sale anymore i think it was like a limited edition kind of situation but you can get a lot of different chains from monica vinida and they're all lovely and yeah this one I really love it. It's just really pretty. And it goes on so many of their chains. Like sometimes I wear it on a really chunky one. Sometimes I wear it on a more delicate one. I just think that stuff is really versatile and I love that. Um, I'm then gonna do my favorite earring combo. So we've got the, is that where the hole is? I can never find the last hole. Uh, I've got my Raimi earrings that I'm putting in now. These are like pink chain ones. If you've watched the vlogs a lot, you will have seen these a lot. I'm a big, big fan. These come in lots of different colors, but the like fuchsia, oh, stunning. They just feel like, I always say, they feel like print size earrings. I also didn't know they produced ear cuff versions as well. So I'm gonna, gonna need that. Anyway, I'm currently trying to get my <laughs> other like rainbow hoops in. This is so hard to do without a mirror. There we go. Yeah, we got there in the end. These are my little rainbow hoops. And then we're going for my Ashidamiu little star hoops i just love this combo like the chunky to like delicate little chain earring like that kind of gradient is gorgeous and i like the different like heights of things and all the different colors and then the rest of my jewelry is this is like a i think this is a monica vinida no astrid and miu stud and then this tiny tiny one here is a maria tash stud that was one of my most recent piercings and i tend to get my piercings done at maria tash it's like extortionate but they do the best jewelry and then i don't take it out um for like a year basically after it's been done oh no i think i've done these wrong oh no yeah i don't like take the earring out for like a year so i like to make sure they're like really really pretty and i always want to have them in that's how i just find my ears heal best if i like put a uh, like bar in and then just literally don't take it out for like a year and it will heal perfectly no problems i've actually been thinking of getting a new piercing soon so tbc because this year it's not got as much going on as it used to for perfume i am gonna go for jimmy Choo. i want you which i had to just dust off it's been that long since i last wore her but mm, love this one for like a vanilla -y floral fruity oh scent is gorge gorgeous mm. the more i'm like smelling it the more i'm like oh yeah i uh, haven't worn that in so long but i feel like it really goes with the look because it's kind of like playful 
and just very girly. Okay, I'm not going for bracelets today because you can't see my wrists. It's kind of pointless. Jeez, I can never say no to these shoes. And then this little bag. So yeah, this is the outfit. I just think this dress is so cute. I really love it. Um, and the shoes are just so fun with it, as is the bag. I love the back of this dress. I love the open back. It's just really fun. It makes me really happy. So yeah, I might look like a Barbie doll threw up on me, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Good morning. I have just got back from a walk. So I'm in a little Adenola uh, little set. It's not super warm today. So I'm gonna wear jeans for the first time in a very, very long time. I'm actually quite excited about it to be honest. And I thought I'd recreate this look here. I think off the top of my head, it was Gigi Hadid that wore it. All I remember is the outfit, so weird. So we are going to start off with a pair of blue ripped Zara jeans. And then I have two bodies. I am not sure which one I wanna go for. So I'm going for the gray body because simply I haven't worn it in ages and I really like it. I wanna get the wear out of it. This is from Topshop a very long time ago. And today I am just at home editing, so yeah, maybe jeans was a bad idea, but I wanted to like properly get dressed and I need to pop out in a little bit and just run a quick errand. So I'm gonna actually fully get dressed and not look like a slob today. For shoes, I think I'm gonna go for these. I think it's fun to just have a little pop of color with this outfit, considering it's very gray. There's not much fun going on here, apart from my shoes and my toenail color which is bright green. Fragrance of the day is gonna be Armani My Way. This one is really nice. It's very like fruity, but really soft and sweet. And oh, I just love it. It just reminds me of like, you know, the Love Heart Sweets. It's almost a bit like that, um, but a little bit more like fruity. Oh, it's just so nice. Almost like a refresher, that kind of vibe. But like a little bit fruity, a little bit floral. I absolutely love it, it's really delicious. Also, how nice is the bottle? I love a little bit of frosted glass. Sunny's, Celine, can't remember what these are called. I think I'm gonna put my hair up, you know? Maybe in a bun? What do we think? Also gonna use this back. And here we have today's very basic finished look, but it's really comfy and really easy and I like it a lot. I've gone for slick back hair because it's hair wash day and I really couldn't be bothered to do anything with it or like dry shampoo or anything. What I might actually do when I come back from running my errands is um, take it out, oil it like thoroughly um, and like hair mask and stuff and uh, yeah, then put it back into a bun because I'm not seeing anyone and it would do it some good before I wash it later. But yeah, that is today's outfit. Really comfy, really easy, very casual. I really like it. And I'll be back with you tomorrow with another outfit. Sorry, I didn't do an outfit yesterday. Um, I actually completely forgot and I just didn't get dressed. I'd had like five hours sleep because uh, Ryan had been playing a show and then my body just, no, it wasn't my body. It was the builders woke me up at like seven in the morning. So five hours sleep didn't end up actually getting dressed it was a bank holiday so just really ran with that and did not get a lot done so no outfit from yesterday it was literally my pajamas yeah this is today's little outfit and i'll be back with you tomorrow for another one good morning everybody i am running very late this morning so i'm already partially dressed i am in i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this let's crank you down a bit uh i am in a very old dress that i believe is from and other stories, but I will clarify in the info box because I actually can't remember. I've had this for so long. I love it. It is like one of those pieces that I bring out every year. And actually it's one of the pieces that very rarely goes into like storage because I will wear this in autumn, spring, summer. It's only like the depths of winter that this doesn't really get worn. I absolutely love it. And then I'll wear it with these shoes. They're the wrong way around. Okay, these shoes are probably the, one of the ugliest designer purchases I've ever made, but one of the best. I always say it. If you watch the videos all the time, you'll be so bored of this, but because they're waterproof, they are a real staple from like warm spring weather through to like early autumn. As long as it's warm enough for me to have my feet out, I will be wearing them because they're very good if like the weather is a bit unpredictable. The weather's actually looking fine today, but I just feel like they go with the outfit, you know. Then I'm also going to take this bag because it is my current favourite. And I just think it adds a little bit more of a vibe. Sunglasses because I am driving and these ones are the ones that actually give me vision. Silver, it's gold. I need some chunky like 
I need ch I need chunky silver jewelry, but mm, no questioning it. Yeah. We're definitely gonna go for chunky gold bracelets because I just need that if I'm wearing the Apple Watch because Apple Watches are ugly as hell. Okay, I have some silver jewelry, so we're just gonna see if we can mix. Uh, a lot of this, actually, all of this silver jewelry is from a collection that I did with Majuri. <laughs> Wow, really couldn't remember that. Uh, I did this collection with Majuri. God, 20, 2015, 2016, something like that. Very like Maria Tash inspired. Uh, and then I'm gonna go for this necklace, which needs a polish desperately, but we're gonna ignore that. Uh, this is an angel necklace that my dad got me when I was 13 for my birthday. I literally thought it was the most special thing ever, so I'm gonna crack that out because I feel like that'll be enough. And we'll just ignore the fact that my earrings are gold because I actually have zero silver earrings as far as I'm aware, so I'm just gonna roll with these. So this is my little outfit of the day. Really nice and easy, super comfortable. I'm literally just going to get my nails done, so don't need anything too fancy but just wanted something that looked really cute but was nice and comfy and I think this fits the bill perfectly. And at this point I may just stick my hair in a bun because it's just very much misbehaving but you can tell we're coming into autumn now because I love an all black look and this one is making me really happy. I completely forgot about quite a few bits of silver jewellery that I actually did own so I switched it up a little bit, I've added these silver hoops. I've added my little opal earrings from a brand called Wake. Very expensive, but stunning. Um, I don't know if you can really see them very well. There we go. I added those. Don't have enough for a full like ear, but it's fine. We're just rolling with it. Added another silver necklace. And is that it? And yeah, that is it. But it just looks a little bit more together now. So that is me. I'm off. Love you, bye. Hello. So I'm going out for dinner this evening and I have decided that I am not gonna wear the mini dress I was wearing earlier because uh, it just doesn't really work all that well with a cardigan over the top. So I'm gonna switch it out for something that does work a little bit better with like a real chunky long cardigan because obviously the dress is long, a long cardigan is just, there's a lot of material going on, you know? Um, so I'm gonna switch out for this little black dress, which I think was from ASOS. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I'll link something similar. I have a very similar one in cream from pretty lavish which i love though i would look at that tag like this i am so lazy anyway um i would get an extra small if you are like the same size as me and you want to shop at pretty lavish i whenever i get a small i'm like this is too big um so this does have a little bit of excess material but the main reason i'm not wearing it is actually because um this will go better with the chunky cardigan situation so like i said this is super casual um, I'm not really getting dressed up for dinner, but I'm just gonna throw this on. And then some Converse, because I'm just going for like emo girl vibes today apparently. Then I'm gonna wear this over the top if I get cold, which is the, <laughs> uh, this is like probably one of the most ridiculous things that I own. Uh, this cardigan basically, like l the threads pull on it so easily, but I'm kind of just rolling with it. It's a vibe, it's a thing now, um, because I love this cardigan so much, basically. My eyelashes are getting stuck together, please excuse me. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna wear over the top, just like throw it over the top, super like chill, casual vibe, really nice and comfy, cozy, because you know when it's like dinner and it's kind of like getting late, why is this so bright? Um, when it's like getting a bit late and stuff and you're just like, I just want to be like, feel snuggly. Because you know bedtime is like near and your brain starts like being like, mm, want to be in my pyjamas. And that cardigan is the closest thing I can get to like being in a dressing gown, but it being socially acceptable. So that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna go back to the silver jewelry. It's just, I just love it. I loved wearing it earlier today. So I am going to continue. And then I'm just gonna go for this little necklace so this is the look and yeah i haven't tidied up my makeup since this morning i know if it was any more of a dressy vibe i think i probably would have worn the cowboy boots but um yeah i'm just not feeling like it's the vibe and i just want to be comfy i've truly re-entered my emo girl era <laughs> happens every autumn but weirdly i really feel like all black outfits and like 
kind of like bags like this and stuff and like the converse all of that I really feel like it suits me like I think it's it probably suits me the most out of like anything that I wear but I just love so many things that I find it really hard to like just stick to one thing um but yeah I think this is probably like the style that I think suits me the most like I've always gone back to leather jackets and like bits like that throughout my life probably wouldn't be surprising if I took you through my teenage dirtbag photos to be honest um I should definitely do that trend on tiktok i think that is going to be it for this what i wore in a week i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you did let me know if you like the new format i understand if it is a bit too chatty for some of you but i thought i'd switch things up and try something new because i just don't love the standing talking in front of a mirror solidly for three minutes but happy to hear your feedback as always i hope you like the outfits let me know which was your fave in the comments and if you're new please uh subscribe and get my words really confused now that there's too many I have too many things with podcasts I'm like are we subscribing are we following what are we doing I don't know but yeah hope you all really enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again in my next one very very soon I think it will be Monday I'll see you then love you bye